Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter yeah. Nights 2 Original Campaign. This is Big Los. We are in Nola Lost Valley and we have just put all the buffs on. But we got some more buffs that I'm showing you right now. We got this Cloak of Displacement for Kelgar. So we're going to put that on. And then we got these Boots of the Shifting Sands, which allows us to put on some haste. So these will be yes. new buffs that we're going to add to the mix. And as yeah. soon as we're done with that, let's put the Hammer of Iron Fist and the Shield into the Quick Keys down there, since I still have the Hammer of the Wisp. Now well, that that's now. taken care of, what do you want? Let's go check out this Crystal Heart. We're gonna have to destroy it. Okay, let's examine the object and then attack the heart. Let us grant it sleep at last. No being should be forced to suffer like that. Hurry. Other beings may be drawn to the crystal as we speak. Too late. We got some black dragons. This seems familiar. These dragons have only rage in their eyes. Words will not avail us here. For intelligent beings, you don't speak very much. Okay, so we got these two black dragons. I didn't put on energy immunity to acid for Tarman, so I'm going to try to move him away so he doesn't yes. get any acid damage because their breath weapon is basically a jet of corrosive acid. Probably hydrofluoric acid or I something listening. like that. It's pretty nasty stuff. So yes. Let's use some of these extreme spells that we have. And we're going to use Meteor Swarm. First on the left one, and then on the right one, and then we're going to do a Morden Kind of Sword. And we can do an Earthquake with these boots, so I'm going to have Kelgar do that. Well, no. And I'm going to have the Captain. What do you want? Do this Aurora chain to add some damage. Of course. To his attacks. By the shadows of Merdelaine. So we got everybody. Let us press the attack. Doing attack! a spell at first. By tears right, Botic. And then I'll have all my melee fighters attack. There goes Reptar just getting in there. Good job. Okay, so we've got some ability damage for some reason. Let's put on this soothing light because we are taking some damage here. Enemies are near. That'll cause everybody to regenerate for about five rounds. Eleni really taking some damage, so let's move All right, out. I can do that. Think we move Quora out? Enemies are near. I guess not. She has to kill. Complete the spell. Okay, there goes the soothing light. Let's do an elemental swarm, huh? Bring out an air elemental. Oh, there goes one dragon already. But Eleni is real bad right now. Okay, she's getting some hit points back. Can we do a heal on Eleni? There it is. Why won't it... Why won't it work? Why won't it click on it? Let's see if I... No, it's not working. I guess we're all knocked to the ground. We'll probably have to get up first before it lets me do anything. See, even Eleni can't even cast anything for herself. Alright, there goes Xiaomi casting hill. Alright, we got nothing to worry about now. Now we can cast that elemental And let's see if I can get some sneak attacks on the Okay. Wait a minute, black dragons are immune to sneak attacks. Since when? 
Okay, so let's grab all this stuff. And then we'll let's get to this other dragon and grab its possessions. Where would its possessions be in its gut? Or does it have like a backpack hanging from its neck or something? Alright, so we got another King's Tear, but we also got this Sly Blade. It's a long sword, so Eleni can use it. It's superior to that Blade of the Gladiator she has. I am listening. So let's equip this on her. The good thing about this weapon is it also can cast Displacement, just like Kelgar's cloak that he's wearing. Step so now, Come on. each Follow has along. three castings of Displacement. Now everybody can get Displacement cast on them, so that will be the new buffs in the future. And then we got this thing to summon earth elementals. I gave that to Quora. And then we got a pair of amulets of Follow natural armor plus four. So I'm going to give that to Kelgar and Quora. Kelgar was wearing that amulet of vitality plus two. Uh oh. Looks like I'm getting slow again. I'm going to have to pause it and do a hard cut. Okay. I can. Yes. And then we'll give this Enkidu's armor to Javi, because she has a full plate plus one. The Enkidu's yes. armor gives her resistance to piercing and slashing five. Now, we don't need yes. the Amulet of Vitality, because the Belt of Iron Fist is increasing Kelgar's constitution. And you know that ability bonuses do not stack. Therefore, we can take away his amulet. Well, now. And Korra had an amulet what natural armor want? plus two anyway. So it makes sense to give her a natural armor amulet plus four. And we'll give her these crafting components. Let's see. We got these two rings yes. of elemental resistances. So who could use them? I want to keep that bone ring on her. Maybe we can get rid of that ring of resistance. It'll lower yes. saves down a little bit. Oh yeah, let's let's definitely replace this ring of fortitude plus one. I'd, well, I'd be willing to trade one point of fortitude yeah. for all the resistances that this gives. Uh oh. There it goes again. Alright, well let's pause and do another hard cut. Alright, there we go. Step with me. Come on. Follow along. Yes. Let's see. Let me lead the way. You follow behind. No, every yes. everybody else has some pretty good rings right now. Eh, I guess we'll leave that on her. Maybe we'll look for someone else who I haven't been using in my party who me. needs Come a on. ring. Follow along. But yeah, Kelgar definitely will have that on him. It gives you resistance to, I think, cold, fire, electrical, and acid 15. So it's pretty good. Now, before we leave the area, let's yes. cast our most damaging spells on this crystal heart. Once we do enough damage, it'll be destroyed. And we will get experience for completing that part of the quest. Helping out Nololoth by destroying him utterly. Oh, there it goes again. It sounds like fireworks. I wonder who the gaffer was in this game. Okay, let's see, can we get it to speed up a little bit? Okay, let's cast these ice storms on it. Ice storms tend to do a lot of bludgeoning damage. And if it doesn't work, then we'll just cast some more fireballs on it. Oh. 
Oh, that did it. A creature with compassion. My last wonder before oblivion. At last, for the first time in ages, I am freed of my shackles, free to move towards death once again. It feels right. Alright, so we got 2,000 XP for doing that. Plus we got another 500 for defeating two black dragons at the same time. For some reason, those dragons were a lot easier than the Lapsisks. Now, how many... or how much experience did we get individually for those dragons? Uh-oh. Can we, uh... Can we fix this? Okay. Okay, we got these crystal heart fragments over there. Let's go grab those. Let's see, I'm trying to pause it right now, but it's not working. Okay, there it goes. But not before this pulls up, so I guess we'll just loot that. Do a hard cut, I guess. See, this takes forever. Okay, there it goes. Okay, so this Crystal Heart Shard gives us a bunch of Radiant Essences. We'll give that to Korra as well. Maybe off-camera I'll grind up all the Essences that I've been giving her. So all that's left really is to leave the area. Now you could go back to Arvon from here, and from there go to the ruins in the swamp on your way to West Harbor to reforge the sword. But for right now, I'm going to do a segue to Port Last. The reason? Because I want to talk to Naya. Why do I want to talk to her? She's selling these greater gloves of the Artificer. I'm going to purchase those. And you'll see why as soon as I do it. Basically, the Greater Gloves of the Artificer gives you six ranks in every craft. Craft Weapon, Craft Armor, Craft Trap, and Craft Alchemy. And the reason that I want those is because I'm going to repair the Construct on my own. So, let's make our way over there. And here we are. So let's go and talk to Naya. Looks like nothing's really changed here. Okay, there they are. It only costs 8,800 gold pieces. Gives you six ranks to that when you wear it. It's really a spit in the ocean buying that type of stuff. Spending that much money. Well, I can cast Cure Critical Wounds now, huh? Hmm. No, I don't think I need any of these spells right now. No. Go this way. I want to talk to these Wendersnaven folks. See if they've changed their tune. No. Yes. No. Yes. Okay, so they have not changed their tune. Very well. We're done. Let's make our way back to Crossroad Keep. Now, here we are. Now we're going to make our way to the basement, so we're going to skip going to the courtyard. 
We're just gonna wind up in the basement. With sand this time! Oh, great! Now we get to level them up. And I'm gonna level up all my other characters off camera. I can Before care. I continue on to West Harbor. Now, the reason that I brought him here is because I need a spell called Greater Heroism, and I do not want Robnar. So, let's pick a feat. I did recommend for his skills. Now, he has this new feat called Persistent Spell. Well, it's not really new, but we're going to pick it. And that's going to allow him to do Persistent Haste. And I'm going to bring him with me when we go to West Harbor, instead of Quora. Okay, so recommends Dominate Monster and Shape Change. What does this do? Oh yeah, that's the one that summons a Shadow Variant with three quarters the hit points of whatever you touch. What's that one up there? Power Word Kill. Oh, no saves are allowed? Up to a hundred point creatures kill instantly, and you can use it as an area of effect if you want. Yeah, we're picking that one. I tell you, I love those instant death spells. They're great. Okay, looks like we don't have a lot of level six spells. I thought we we have that spell. Didn't it say when we got the scroll that we have that in our Spellbook? I must be thinking of something else. Alright, so let's go down to Persistent Spell. We're gonna put on Persistent Haste. And then we can pick another level 8 spell. What's it gonna be? Ah. Hmm. I guess. What's this? No, let's do Polar Ray. Yeah. Alright, and I've already put on the gloves. I believe so. The greater gloves of the Artificer for the Captain. So right now, his skills are all up to 13 right now. Listening, really. But he needs them up to 15, so we need to have Sand cast Greater Heroism. But he doesn't have it prepared yet, so we have to rest. And there, it just popped up. Level 6. So let's... First put on this Persistent Haste. Now we'll all move very fast. For... Pretty much the entire time that we're on a screen. Or in an area. And now he's got Greater Heroism cast on him. So his Craft Alchemy is up to 28. Craft Armor is to 16. But I wonder why Craft Trap and Craft Weapon went down. What's up with that? Alright, well, now let's just click on this construct. And we will examine it. And let's do some Craft Armor success. Alright, so we have improved its armor class, if we ever wanted to use it. Now we're doing the craft weapon, and that was successful, and if we do a craft alchemy, we don't need Sans help. And it says that it has worked. That increases the construct's hit points. Great, so we're finished with that. Now let's make our way to West Harbor. What will we find there? Will we be able to survive? Find out next time. This is Big Lowe's signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And Dango and Buendia.